how can I help the Filipinos who watch the channel as well as the Americans who watch the channel on top of what's up guys what's up guys Ruby, uh, well, Ruby doesn't want to cook tonight, so <laughs> I have to buy some food. So I am at Chinese, Japanese. I'm getting ramen. Japanese, Japanese. There it is, right there. There you go. This is the way of life right now. See that? That's it. That's how. You, that's how we're gonna buy stuff from now on. <laughs> doesn't this remind you of a sorry, sorry store? <laughs> you know, you have to stop and yeah. go. <laughs> well, we can't go into a place without this mask so i feel like sub-zero from uh mortal, mortal kombat actually so but that brought I, I told this ruby I, I told this ruby the other day technically i told her because i'm a bad i have a bad brain okay. now is the time that you can literally rob anyone and no one would even know i was saying like te technically think about it Instead no they didn't think about it they're gonna think uh, about it but technically you can no. what are you gonna tell the cops what are you gonna tell the cops the cops are gonna be like what do you look like oh he was a guy with a black hat black black jacket and a mask <laughs> so, I, I, you know and then all i can do is i can wear glasses nobody would know me but check this out man place is empty yeah, bro. This is life now, bro. I'm fed up with all these millennials out here, even though I think I'm a millennial. Dude comes in. I think he drove from far away just to tell the people to take out the vegetables out of his food. Are you effing kidding me? Do, do you, what, what is up with the world? You're telling me my man probably drove about 10 minutes up here just to tell the people to take the vegetables out of the shrimp lo mein. Doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. Like, seriously, dude. Are you that fucking lazy not to take a fork? Take the fork, seek out the vegetables, and pull it out. And, uh, that seemed too entitled to me, man. You prick, dude. Back to my regular schedule. We're still here waiting for our ramen. It should be good because we're hungry. Anything tastes good when you're hungry. Hey everyone, so I am heading home. It's about three in the afternoon here in New York. So it is Friday. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but I am excited, very excited. Why? Because I came up with new ideas and you know, usually when, um, when, you, when you're doing these YouTube videos, right? You always come into this part of doing YouTube where you just, let me turn the, the freaking AC on here. You come to this part of YouTube, do it, this is not even really a career, but it takes a lot of time to do YouTube, right? It does, like creating content, hoping it's good, not even knowing how people will, will uh, accept you or whatever, but the biggest issue I have is always consistently coming up with certain content and consistently uploading, right? So today, all day, outside of doing work, because, you know, your boy knows how to multitask, I, it was just boggling my brain as to how do I still give value and still pass on whatever knowledge I have to the people that's watching. So that was all day, all day all day just just you know so i kind of i kind of narrowed it down to what i want to do and what and what um what is it just it just it was just like a breakthrough today for me because um i broke it down into kind of like uh a yin and yang thing right yin and yang thing right being that I'm Filipino-American, 
yeah, right. being that I am Filipino American, I kind of want to help the Filipino side of me, help my whoever I can in the Philippines. At the same time, I get guys like Ken Starr asking me about how I transitioned to the Philippines. So that's more the American side of me, right? So how can I help the Filipinos who watch the channel as well as the Americans who watch the channel? On top of me wanting to do my own thing, which is I love technology, right? I I love technology. I wish I had more funds to buy technology because, trust me, I, I, I would. So, I've come up with a game plan, right? I'm going to show this on a pie chart, right? Or I'm going to show this on a chart or something infographic-wise here. So, I'm going to be, I'm going to produce videos to come out three times a week. MWF. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hold on. I don't expect to earn this YouTube money or this channel to grow unless I give value. And hopefully, you know, I want to do this full time. So technically, I, you're not really supposed to chase this for the money, right? I'm passionate about it. But for me to do this full time, obviously, bills got to get paid and dreams have to be reached. So there's that balance of can I do what I'm passionate about at the same time still do what I have to do obligation wise financial obligation wise so I gotta meet that balance back to my MWF plan okay so Mondays I'm going to do more videos trying my best to help out Filipinos obviously anyone can benefit from it Americans Filipinos Austronesian Melanesian (laughs) Polynesian I got no more Asians so so, uh, Mondays, I'm gonna, I'm work, it's a working title. I'm gonna call that Peso Mondays. So, for more of the Filipinos, business advice, business ideas. So, what I'm doing, don't attempt at home because these are for professionals only. I am on a closed road, <laughs> right? So, Mondays, gonna have to be, I'm gonna try to treat that for my, for a Filipino side of me, right? Um, Peso Mondays, where I will discuss pretty much uh, business ideas, like I like I've been doing, but it can pretty much help anything, right? Anyone. So just tune into that one. The business end of my brain here. Wednesdays, Hump Day. I'm gonna tailor that towards just expats and transitioning into the Philippines and things like that. So look, keep a lookout for that. And did I eat junk food today, bro? Did I eat junk food this week? I don't know. I'll be eating junk food today. Boom. So Wednesdays, I'm going to cater that towards expats where I've created topics that can potentially help you with their transitioning, my personal experience, my friend's experience, and things catered towards expats transitioning to more specifically the Philippines because I'm from the Philippines. Um, and F, Friday, that's where I'll do my personal thing, the product reviews. The product reviews don't really... The product reviews, to be honest with you, it is somewhat still income generating. The product reviews are for me personally because I love tech. Tech, Even though I'm a layman at stuff like this, I love technology. I love just how things are technology-wise. It could be phones the jaw thing, whatever. I will designate Fridays for releases for product reviews. So it's three tier, three, just like a tripod. Mondays, Peso Mondays, uh, Expat Wednesdays, and product review Fridays. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So I can try to pretty much spend more time trying to do quality and uh, I'm pretty excited. I just discovered a lot of things today that I can talk about. It's the it's the bracelet and charm system, so um, check that out. Look that up. I look forward to doing it. So um, yeah, that's gonna be a quick one, and then I'll do the vlogs in between the times and everything like that, just to you know 
filler, filler vlogs and stuff like that. Uh, take care.